Here is a 2023 Audi S8 in Mythos Black Metallic over black leather. When you're talking full luxury, this is the flagship for Audi. And it goes a step above because of the performance. The fastest zero to 60 compared to BMW and Mercedes. I'm Anthony from Hawkeye Rides. In to stress that kind of performance out of a car that's fly under the radar type. That's what Audi's doing. So the front is going to get the HD matrix design, LED headlights and daytime runnings. Going to the new BMW 7 Series, you can option Swarovski crystals. Here you can get digital lights, which we have. Black optic package, I would recommend this, especially if you're doing any color at all with Audi except for white, because that single frame grille is gonna get the gloss black inserts. It also blackens out the badge for the S8, so you don't have to pay extra premium to black out the badging. The lower gets gloss black elements also. Clearance is gonna be around four and a half inches, so it's pretty much spot on with Mercedes and BMW. And underneath the long hood houses a 4.0 liter TFSI V8 twin turbo producing 563 horsepower, 590 pound-feet of torque paired to an eight-speed Tiptronic automatic transmission. Achieving 15 MPGs for the city and 23 MPGs for the highway, Audi quotes a zero to 60 at 3.8 seconds, which makes this the fastest variant. The black optic package comes into the side with these 21 inch multi-spoke alloy wheels. Red brake calipers with the S housing six pistons in the front. Why? Because the S8 weighs over 5,200 pounds. The Quattro system is heavy. This is also one of the longer variants. Standard rear axle steering, which helps with cornering and getting in and out of parking lots because it's a long vehicle. Light bar is coming into the rear with sequential turn signals. Audi makes some of the best lighting in the business. Whenever you're comparing any vehicle to it, the rear of this is going to stand out against Mercedes and BMW. The lower gets quad exhaust tips with the chrome finish. You get the gloss black elements over it. And I like how it runs into the side gills here. that give a little bit more of a dynamic touch to it. Keeping the understated profile, but this is what Audi's wanting. So when you pull up next to the bins or Beamer, you're gonna beat them at that light. Power lift gate. Going into just under 13 cubic feet of storage, we get a pass through a 12 volt with a storage nook underneath all these goodies. We got a surprise. It's a spare tire. And these are the pillow cushions for the back seat. But you don't buy this vehicle for just cargo. You buy it because you have a twin turbo V8. Let's go inside, start it up so you can hear that exhaust note. Soft closed doors is gonna start us off. 14 way power seat adjustment, eight more power seat adjustments on the MMI touch screen, heated, ventilated, massage, memory for the driver and passenger. Headroom for the S8 and leg room. It's a longer vehicle. It's a deep footwell with stainless steel pedals. We have the comfort package, which includes the upgraded headliner with the ambient lighting, piano black elements, which will be on the door handles instead of the leather and pretty much surrounding the whole vehicle. What I like about the S8 is it's not just luxury, but it's powerful. Just slide your finger here to close off the vent, slide it there to turn it off. When you turn off the air condition, look what happens. Closes up to a seamless dashboard. The upper part will be leather because of the Comfort Plus package. Heads up display, we're gonna turn that air condition back on because it's hot in the state of Florida. 10.1 MMI touchscreen with navigation wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM, AM, FM, streaming Bluetooth audio. 
put it into reverse. We have top view camera, which is a 360 degree reverse camera, full trajectory. Click onto the 3D. You can scroll all around the vehicle and it's live as you're noticing. Watch, even with the turn signal. It's pretty cool stuff. Click back here, click this, and then you have your million different camera angles so you can see any different imperfections. You can also click on the 3D on this and it'll go around instead of you doing it manually. Put it into park. We're gonna take that off the screen. We're going to go into vehicle. And here is how you will change for the seat settings. Slide it over. This is for the massage. This is for those eight different seat positions. Click back, go into Audi Drive Select, go into Individual, click this, and you can make it as sport derived or as luxurious as you would like, or just simply click Dynamic. Going into an 8.8 .8 inch touchscreen with the dual climate control for the front, dual climate control in the rear, heated, ventilated, and the driver mode select on the fly. The key fob for the S8 is gonna be a little bit more understated. So what I mean by that is I have an SQ right here. I like the S. They don't put the S when you get into the eight. We got a 12 volt. It's gonna be soft, it's pushed back. It opens up as a two tier Audi wireless phone box, which extends your service signal and wirelessly charging your phone. Two USB ports. Leather wrap steering wheel, multi-function. Paddle shifts and the stocks. 12.3 Audi virtual cockpit, which can go through an array of information for the driver. You can change different layouts so you can make it more configurable than most vehicles. And it has the boomerang to make it more sporty or you can make it more understated. The door panels integrate into the dash with the piano black. You're gonna have soft touch up top. Open up, you get the quilted and it's soft. You have a storage pocket right here for the driver. One touch up and down for all the windows. They're all dual pane. A smaller storage pocket, but because you have another one here, it's not a big deal. A moonroof with a moonroof for the back seat. Ambient lighting will be surrounding the whole cabin with auto dimming rear view mirror. For the back seat, it's like a limousine. Headroom, it's not gonna be an issue. Nor is the legroom because it's almost an SUV size. We have storage beyond both of the front seats. The air vents with the same that you could turn them on or off by the push. Two 12 volt chargers, the ambient lighting behind the back seats and on the roof with the piano black. Open this up so we can check ourselves out before we go to the office. Cup holders, dual climate control, Heated seats, it's gonna be soft to touch. It opens up to two more USBs and some storage. You can close this up so that way you can fit a third person, which we'll do that in a second. Air vents on the side, you can lower the sunshades on both sides. You can also open up the panel moon roofs on both sides. The door panel. Double click to get out. We get the piano black, soft to touch with the quilted inlays, a storage pocket up top and on the lower trim, that's about the same size as the front with the piano black that runs through. The floor is not completely flat. It's not necessarily designed for three to sit, but you can sit here. I don't think you're gonna be doing this because you're gonna be looking like a baby sucking your finger, but headroom isn't actually bad. If you put your feet down, you're Gonna have plenty of feet space, butt space as well because it's also a wide vehicle. So three occupants can sit, but if you wanna be more luxurious, put this thing down and just relax. 563 horsepower and 590 pound feet of torque, zero to 63.8 seconds. To put these numbers in better idea for you, a Lamborghini Urus, I know that's an SUV, but everybody likes to talk about it. It's a zero to 60, maybe 0.6 to 0.8 seconds quicker, 94 horsepower more. So when you're thinking, well, maybe it's not that much power, it's a lot of power and it's very effortless, super quiet. That is one con right off the top. I can't hear the engine. And I would like to hear it, especially because I am in dynamic mode. The sound system is awesome. You could turn up the subwoofer to make it have more bass or more treble. And it's pretty easy to do so whenever you're going into your entertainment and you're using the volume knob. 
you just click onto the side instead of going into 15 different settings. On a con though, you still will have to look off the road to utilize most of the MMI touchscreen interface. We are in Dynamics, coming up to this light, we're gonna show you what the performance is like. Very smooth, you're riding on air because it's four corner air suspension, and most people are going to think that this is a fly underneath the radar car, that it's not that fast. They have no idea, especially this Kia, he's inching up. It's kind of funny he's doing so. Let's see what we can do. It becomes a dot pretty quick. And going in and out of lanes, it's very light. You don't have to do too much. Soft steering for your everyday drive. Going to some more pros and cons. In the back seat, it's like a limousine. This one does not have all the options in which I did a review on prior that you have power seat adjustments, you have massage seats in the back, there's a little touch screen in the center which BMW cleans that up and puts it on the door panel whenever you're going into a higher end 7 series. Standard rear axle steering so it helps because it is a longer vehicle and it's over 5200 pounds. Look at this thing. It's a... You stay planted in the seat Unfortunately, you have to hit a higher RPM to hear the engine though. That's the area that really gives the big con. And this is where the rear axle steering is going to help. Doing U-turns, which you're going to see right now. It puts it right at near two lanes. Let's go. I decided to use the Tiptronic myself. So that way I would use the paddle shifters and I'm not going too crazy. I don't want to get a speeding ticket. I just want to have some fun with an S8. Going back to Mercedes-Benz and BMW. BMW now has automatic doors that can open up. You have to pay a premium. The exterior lights get Swarovski crystals. You have to pay a premium. Once you add all these premiums of all these features that you want, it will be just as much if not more than this, and yet you're still getting the same luxury and smooth ride. This is the most quiet amongst all of them. And Mercedes-Benz just did a refresh also, and they have a little bit more harder materials in which you can see the plastic here. It's very tech driven and yet elegant. It's one of those vehicles that, I mean, you can fit the family. You're not sacrificing in performance. You have cargo capabilities. You can race vehicles like this Mustang in front of you and you're not going to be put to shame. And yet it drives smooth for any imperfections in the road because it's air suspension. They have no idea what's underneath this hood. That's why it's one of those vehicles that people were just always wanting to race. Since I have been reviewing this vehicle today, I've had numerous vehicles come next, inch up. You saw one of them, it was a Kia, and all of them lose in a race. Usually when you're paying $140,000, you're either getting luxury or you're getting a touch of performance. Here, Audi just went all out. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Check out the next video, merchandise website and Instagram. Leave a comment and a like. And I'd like to thank Audi of Tampa for giving us this 2023 Audi S8 for our car review.